G'day there, my name's Scott, I'm from the Motorcycle Action Group, MAG, about the right gear, the right bike and the right place. Got Hayden here from Whip Industries, what are you doing here today Hayden? Uh, Scott, yeah we're here at the Dandenong Show, uh, we've got the Whip Industries freestyle team down here, getting ready to put on some performances for this crowd and um, you know, just out here having a whole bunch of fun. Travis from the Whip Industries Freestyle Minibike team. We're here today getting ready for a performance. I'm just about to get ready and get geared up. I uh, just want to give you guys a quick run through on what we're going to be doing and what we're wearing before we go out to do a performance. Uh, first thing I'm going to start from bottom to top. So um, I've got my Alpine style boots, uh, Tech 2 boots. They've got a lot of ankle protection. There's no way I'd even be able to consider riding without them. So make sure I've got them on every time. And um, then going up from there, I've got my knee protection. I make sure I've got my knees covered. These are an actual knee brace, so they give you a support. Uh, for movement and, as well as impact, so um, really handy for what we're doing. Uh, from there we've got our pants that we wear. We've got our Scott Nylons here, they've actually got nice big knee panels so they can fit your knee guards underneath, not like the tight jeans that everyone wears at the skate park. Important things to be looking at when you're um, selecting a helmet is they've got the Australian standard. You can see that stamp on the back there. Make sure they're approved and, and ready to ride. Another thing you want is a really good fit. You don't want a helmet that's too big or too small. It's going to hurt your head. Make sure it fits well. When getting a goggle to go riding, it's important to make sure that it fits your face and fits your helmet well and that um, the lens isn't too scratched up. You want to be able to see where you're going. It's important to be able to see, but also have your eyes protected. Nathan Witten. I'm 22 years old. I'm definitely a big believer in wearing as much safety equipment as you can. I've been hurt and I've seen my friends hurt and trust me, being hurt in hospital is not somewhere you want to be. Riding my motorbike is definitely one of the funnest things I can do but accidents do happen. Last weekend I went for a no-handed backflip and it didn't quite work out and I think I definitely owe it to the safety gear I was wearing for why I'm still riding this weekend. I'm here with Jordan Ives, uh, Whip Industries team rider. Um, he's going to go through his chest protection. He's one of the only guys wearing the, the chest protection in the team. So, Jordo, why do you wear the chest protection and uh, what's the benefit of it? Yeah, I've been wearing one of these since I was a little kid. I've always just sort of got in the habit of wearing it. They're really good. They protect your, your chest and your back and they fit your neck brace on as well. So it's really important, I think. <laughs> Show us how it looks. Alright, we're here getting ready for one of our performances. Uh, we're just going to go catch up with Hades. I see him over there working on the bikes. Follow me over. How you going there, Hades? We just spotted you over from over the tent there. You're over here getting the bikes ready. Tell us what's going on. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an important part of the bikes. You know, they've got the lace spoke wheels. So, you know, after every couple of rides or every ride, you know, they should check, check how loose their spokes are and, you know, tighten them up, nip them up or else they could pull through and, and that can end pretty catastrophically. G'day Hayden, why are these bikes the right bikes for you guys? Uh, they're the right bike because they suit 
the style of riding that we're that we're out here to do, and and they're a safe bike when when maintained properly. Hey, I'm Jake Spooner. Ah, uh, the new Kalex 110Ls, um, 2012 models, going real good for us this year. If your bike can't handle the type of riding you're doing, it can be very dangerous. Uh, brakes, I like to check my brakes just to make sure you can always stop in time. I like to check the tension of my chain just to make sure it won't fall off while riding. And also I like to do a basic check over all the bolts and nuts on the bike just to make sure everything's tight, um, handlebars and everything. So Hayden, what, what did you have to do to get permits for a show like this? Uh, the show committee give us a permit to come and ride here and you know give us the okay so that we're not riding out and, you know in with all the other vendors where it could be dangerous for the crowd and you know we've got the right place here to ride it. Hastings Blue Light Motorcycle Club was set up in 2000. Uh, the motivation behind setting it up was to give the kids somewhere safe and legal to ride. We uh, had a real problem on the Mornington Peninsula with kids riding on the railway tracks and uh, since we've had this set up we've been able to basically eliminate that problem. If people join, they uh, come to the police station or we run into the people, we give them out a, an application and they can attend an induction night. The membership here is uh, $90 for a family for 12 months and $70 for a single rider and um, you know it's $2 to ride every time they come out here for insurance. So you can't go wrong, that's uh, probably one tenth of the other tracks that are around the area.